What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Chromecast. My name is Joe, joined here today by Gabriel. That is I. And Robbie. Correct. <laughs> I forgot to put Dan out. Dang it. <laughs> Where is he? Uh, he's, he's, I don't know. <laughs> he's, the, oh, he's, he's, he's like our elf on the shelf. He's, lar- he's lurking. <laughs> lurking. We should have totally here. done that. Uh, we might do it like the last 12 days leading up to Christmas. Let's see. Shelf. That's, that's like tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. right? Yeah. No. No. Did that's... We're past 12 days. Dang. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're... Ten days. Ten days. Ten days out. Dang it. All right. T minus ten. Ugh. I'm just about We're gonna shopping, start we're gonna so. start hiding. I'm waiting on all my crap to show up. I know. Dude. I'm, I'm pretty much we done have everything. purchasing it. We we're done. And like, I can't wrap anything until like the day or two yeah. before because the dog will eat the presents. Well, that's what we're trying to figure out when to wrap because we don't have dogs and our kids don't really. They're not like they don't mess with it. They know yeah. where we keep pre-dogs everything. Pre dogs or yeah. pre dog. Like we always we would have been wrapped up yeah. in we have a walk in closet and that's where most of our stuff our kids just they don't they know mostly what they're getting, especially grandma. Grandma gives them the uh, post exchange catalog and tells them to circle whatever circle they what want. want. Yeah. And then my wife logs into her post exchange account, adds it all to the cart. Just, so all she has to do is go in and put click in, order. Click nice. Pay. You know, like, could we make, why don't you just give us money? We'll just put your name on it and make it easier. <laughs> they get, they get some actual gifts. Oh, they yeah. can, you know. Oh, the Christmas season. Oh, the, so much fun. So we're going to start hiding, we're going to start hiding Dan and we'll post on uh, our Instagram story. You can go check it That's out. That's hilarious. I was trying to think also, like, if you what fo- you would call it, because it's Elf on the Shelf yeah. and it has a rhyme, Dan like Dan shelf. on the Stand. Dan, Dan. Dan on the land. Dan on the run. And Dan's we on the land. Dan on the run. Yeah, I think just Dan on the run. <laughs> Dan on the run. Yeah, I can't hit that note. Robbie's got me. I knew he'd do it. I knew he would. <laughs> wow. I love it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, also, if you follow us on uh, Instagram, you can see some, uh, you know, <clears throat> cute pictures of Honey doing yeah. Chromebook stuff, yeah, doing crumb. work. Yeah, the office dog. She's not a great employee. Uh, she may, she mainly sleeps and she poops sleeps, on the floor. Craps on the floor. <laughs> Chews on stuff. Chew on cables. Yeah. I was taking. So uh, we wrapped up a, f- uh, a few giveaways. We had our six K giveaway, and I was shipping out all of that stuff. I was waiting for a few people to respond to ship out the um, the smart clocks, and then I was shipping out all of the Flex Five Eyes on Monday or Tuesday, and. Um, I'm I'm sitting there in the uh, in the post office with my box of stuff, and I look down, and one of the box corners is completely chewed off. <laughs> that right? I was like, oh, well, that's that's well, honey. So go. I had to tape it up real quick. It was all good. But what do we have? Speaking of giveaways, what, we got anything going on? Right Wait, now? we got one coming up. Was that your segment? Yeah, we, no, no, it wasn't. I was just trying to remember. We had so many in the in the quay. We are We're most of them out now. Yeah, we so are all the basic. Har- I don't know that we have anything in the office that has that is for giveaway as of right now. Oh, we other don't? than really other than our Rakuten uh, that we're starting. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. So give them the details, Gabriel. Okay, yeah. So uh, we've teamed up with Rakuten, which is our favorite. And this is not sponsored on the podcast. I promise that this is <laughs> it. Literally, is my favorite. But hey, Rakuten. Yeah, it could be. It could, it be. could yeah. be. We do affiliate marketing with. Them, I do. I, yeah, I do this, have. A, full... I did get word that they would be happy to send us one of the fake big fat checks if we oh, wanted one hundred percent. That would That'd be, be awesome. awesome. But anyways, it is. It, I've tried tons of different shopping extensions and tools. Rakuten's the best. They have more stores. They have better cash mm-hmm. back. You get money, not gift cards, and all that stuff. But they. They take the work out of stuff because I hate looking for coupon codes. Like, I love getting coupon codes, especially on high-end tech stuff. Mm-hmm. But I hate looking for them, and then you try them, and then they don't work. Yep. And this one doesn't, you know, whatever. Because some of those coupon sites are seedy as all get Crazy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you, you know, install the rack and the extension. You go to the site, you activate it, and then when you go to check out, it applies all the coupons for you. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. it's super easy. But anyways... They've uh, they are offering one of our lucky readers two hundred and fifty dollars. It's not a gift card. It's not store credit. It's two hundred and fifty dollars cash in your Rakuten cash account, money. which will come to you on your big fat check whenever you. I, it's every quarter you get yeah. your check. So yeah, I don't know. can you have does do like ours goes to our PayPal? Do does that an option for everyone or is it just so PayPal is an option? Yeah. Uh, for the longest time, they did a check. That was their thing, the big yeah. fat check. Because my wife still gets hers in a check. Is it like a regular check? It is a paper check. So the big fat check, is it like a big check? Yeah. So, <laughs> so have you ever seen any Rakuten commercials? I think so. But they, they, so we used to watch uh, uh, Live PD on A&E before it got canceled as part of all the cancel culture stuff. Uh, another another podcast. 
uh, <laughs> for, another, I, yeah, for another for another time, another, <laughs> time, another website, you know, <laughs> another not place. here, not now. Anyways, one of the hosts of that show, he did a lot of racking and commercials on A and E, and he would always be standing yeah. in his living room. He's got a really nice house, obviously, but he's just his got big fat this, check. You know, Happy Gilmore. Can I get one of those big checks? You know, yeah. it's that. So yeah, we okay. we might get one of those. That would look we, cool we in need, the video. We need yeah, it. Fun. Yeah, we need yeah, it. So. We'll just put it. We'll just put it right here. Yeah. <laughs> It'll just sit in the corner. <laughs> yeah, it's just propped up in the corner. Inconspicuously. It gets, yeah. So anyway, so we're doing this. Uh, it will be live by the time you hear this on the site. It runs until midnight Pacific or Central. It runs. It runs till New Year's Eve. So yeah. the end okay. of the day, December thirty first. There's five ways to enter. You don't. No purchase necessary. You literally just have to have a racket to the account. If you have a racket account, you drop in your racket and email. Boom. You unlock four more entries. If you don't have one, you sign up and you get an extra thirty dollars. So even if you don't win. You got right. thirty bucks. Yeah. And Once we're, you complete we're paying a purchase, you right? To yeah. To easy to enter to win two hundred fifty dollars. So Do you have money. to com- you, you for the thirty bucks like those those bonuses those you still have to you have to make a purchase for those. Yeah. Right? So okay. so to get the thirty dollar bonus, I believe I have to go back normally with Rakuten to get the sign up bonus. Uh, you have to make an eligible purchase of that amount. But I mean, who right. doesn't spend yeah. thirty dollars online at some point during the year? There's yeah. no there's no time frame on this, it. You sign up for Rakuten, and then eventually you go to Walmart or Best Buy or Lenovo right. or Kohl's or Macy's or one of the other thirty five hundred shopping. I think the rest of the episode should just be Gabe listing all the stores. <laughs> It's grown a lot. They've grown like or seven. Jay yeah. Kroger and Jay Penny, 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 uh, <laughs> What's some of the other Foot ones? Uh, Galaxy Golf yep. and Garmin. Yep. And we'll do Dick's them in Alpha. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Just so anyways, <laughs> you make a purchase. Boom. You got an extra $30 yeah. cash back on top of the money that you're already making back. Yeah. So. Go check it. Go check it out. We'll link it in the show notes. Yeah. Uh, also, this time of year, we are posting deals 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 it's getting close to where like if you order something if by the time you're pushing listening it. to this podcast you're you might be pushing it but i mean there's still incredible deals even if they aren't for a present so if yeah, you're just right. like, looking Absolutely. if you've been looking for a good device um there's there's stuff getting discounted left and right so and you know what if you want to buy something for yourself this 100%. time of year, you should. You go buy something for yourself. Right. Take I don't think enough. I don't think enough people do that. We spend so much time stressing on what we're going to get our kids and our spouses yeah. and Treat our lives. It's a lot of great deals. Like, you Treat know what? Yourself. There's a great deal out there. There's something you want. Mm. I saw the meme the other day. It was just a guy. I don't even know if it was from a show or whatever. But he's just standing there, kind of like with the Michael Scott awkward, you know, grimace on his face, and it's like me trying to answer when someone asks me what I want for Christmas when I'm an adult and I just go buy the things that I want. It's, <laughs> it's tough. Like, it's, it's so hard. true. Like, I don't know. The stuff that I would want that I'm not going to get myself, you're not going to get it for yeah. me. I can tell you that much. Right. I mean, that's <laughs> like me. If I'm not going to buy it for myself, you don't have the cash flow to buy it for me. <laughs> <laughs> or to want to do that. Right. Like, you're not yeah, going to put yourself that so far out true. to right. buy that that's for me. True. Come on, let's I know. do it. Like, I want a Tesla. That'd be awesome. Right. <laughs> you're gonna buy me a Tesla? No, you're not gonna buy me a Tesla. And if right. you do, it'd be awkward or, anyway. Or so, he wants a no. he wants a 4K Epson projector. <laughs> yeah. And he went and bought I it. Bought that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this that, this month in the month of December, yeah. he, there was it something was he sale. wanted. He yeah. went and bought it. So it's so amusing. It's deal, this it? time of year, I have a, a text thread with all my siblings because they won't use you know other messaging apps. It, this time of year it's always the same thing it's all of us like fighting over who's gonna buy my dad a new belt and some new <laughs> right. slippers because it's like a new pair of jeans the yeah. only thing we ever buy him is stuff that you know wears out on a regular basis because yeah. my, right. da- my dad's not loaded but he's comfortable and he's retired right. and got the just stuff he needs kind of buy what they want right, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a goofy well, tradition to it, be honest with you yeah it's, it is it is but, but if you're if you're having trouble looking for a gift for someone you should check out our gear of the year. Cody. What a segue. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, it's our gear it of the year <laughs> holiday gift guide. Holiday. You can see the sweet featured image that, that I struggled to get. Yeah, that color. Man, it was just, way, it's one it of those. It was one of those where dope. I took f- five different options, went in there, was editing them. Robbie probably knows whenever I don't like it because I'm just like, <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> five not, different options. Uh, yeah, out, but out of how many photos taken? I, I, man, over over a hundred probably. I, knew, yeah. I, knew it was be over I mean, because I'll like I'll shift the paper and get like a different of each option. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah. It's not all of the exact same thing. Like I'll this one 
I'm looking at the I'm looking at the uh, the HP Chrome base that we have over there that is per, you know casting over here. I like the color on the color much color. crispier. Yes. Yeah, it looks a lot better over there. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'll just like move things around and be like, oh, I like the phone slid up a little bit. I want the Google logo. So then you slide it up a little bit, and then you get those photos. And then oh, the watch is going to sleep every 15 seconds. The, the shadows Sl- on those. Just yeah, I always love so these. Dope. I like the hard shadow look. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's cool. cool. Uh, it's hard to get. I finally figured out the settings on the camera to get it right, but uh, it's always a little struggle. So yeah, anywho, uh, finally got a cool uh, uh, featured image there. But um, I was thinking as we were talking through deals, uh, the Pixel Watch is it still on sale? Yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah I think it was whenever model. I was putting everything together yesterday. So speaking of great deals, if you're, yeah, I think we talked about that on the podcast maybe, but um, but that's that's definitely uh, one that. As we're all sitting here wearing our wearing our watches, uh, <laughs> yeah, we didn't we didn't really cover back on that on the know, podcast I after making that video. I don't think. I don't know if we did, um, and, and I kind of didn't want to because we've talked about the Pixel Watch and so kind much. of all of our feelings on the Pixel Watch. But I, I like, think yeah, but I think like the whole thing of the non review is is interesting, and I've put that out like in some of the social yeah. stuff and email that we've done. So I think like you could maybe talk through that a little bit, your approach to this. Yeah. And I think it's, I mean, I took, you know, kind of some cues from all of our collective experience with this watch and, um, you know, I, I, my son won't listen to this. I don't have to worry about it, but, um, already right, when it went on sale, <laughs> this wait, is going to be the one episode yeah, that say, he listens to. I was waiting for it to go on sale so I could get one, uh, for him. Cause he's been, he's been after it for over a year, <laughs> yeah. you know, since the, 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 early you know leaks and all that kind of stuff he's he's been excited about the pixel watch and wanting the pixel watch and asking when he can get a pixel watch and you know and he wore me down with the corgi the corgi's his fault too um i mean he <laughs> this, the kid was dressed boy, up as a boy, corgi for halloween this, this boy year. wanted a corgi yeah. bad <laughs> i mean he, he carries three stuffed corgis with him everywhere he went like he watched his videos of corgis he was like in it and and, and like i don't know with my kids if if they stayed that interested in something for that period of time, it's like, okay, after a little while, you've got my attention. Yeah. I mean, if kids, well, you know, they'll be on about something for two weeks and then they forget that they even like that thing for a while. Right. So I'm like, <clears throat> I'm not buying into something that expensive, you know, just on a whim. But the Pixel Watch is one of those things. Like he wears his Fitbit Versa 3 that I got him. I think I've told that story on yeah. here too. Ended up in Louisville. Yeah, <laughs> I was up there. I got there was on super sale, and I was like, I'm I'm ready to upgrade. I got my Versa three, came home, and I showed him like I'm excited to show you that I have this thing, and he was he thought it was for him, and so when I told him it was mine, man, the devastation on that kid's oh face was more than I could take. And I was just like, there you go, it's yours now. And so then I went and bought myself another one. Um, <laughs> So the power of children. Yeah. <laughs> so he's been asking about this for a little while. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm excited to take advantage of the deal that you just mentioned uh, yeah. in order to get him one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the 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 I think collective thought <laughs> around this this watch for me was, you know, I'm I'm coming from that Fitbit state of mind, yeah. and, and I don't wear watches uh, prior to this. I don't I don't frankly don't care anything about watches. Like you all talk about watches, and it just I just don't care. And I just really don't. I can't even find any part. Like usually I can hook into something and be like, okay, I'm kind of interested. Yeah. I'm just not at all interested uh, in watches, but smart watches are a whole different thing. So there's yeah. some utility here that, that I, I lean on, but Fitbits have always been okay at those things. It's like great fitness tracking. Yeah. Yeah. If a utility, like sure. Try to, you know, respond with a voice uh, to a text message and it's like, yeah, 50, 50, it might work. It might not, you know, whatever. You know, try to get the Google Assistant to actually do anything on the watch. Maybe. Yeah. You might get something out of it. Uh, and so all those things have been fixed with the Pixel Watch. And so coming at it, like, from that perspective, I didn't want anybody to think that I know. Like, to me, I can review Chromebooks because I know Chromebooks. Mm-hmm. Like, by in and out, I understand what people want out of them. I understand what I want out of them. I understand what they're capable of, what they're not capable of. Like, I get it. I understand the space. So I feel competent to review that. I feel less competent to review a smartphone, but at least I've used a bunch of smartphones. Right. So I'm like, I technically could do a review. I don't do them very often, but I could do a review of a smartphone. Like I feel like I know what's good and bad in a smartphone and all that kind of stuff for a watch. I'm just like, yeah, I have no experience. I've never owned an Apple watch. I, I had the galaxy watch for what, like two minutes, you know, yeah. and, and gave it back. And I was just like, <clears throat> I, I don't know. I just didn't feel like I was in a place where I could 
review it in in a way that if someone was coming and looking for all the nitty gritty details and what it does best with this that and like I don't I don't know you know I don't care about watches to begin with that much and I you I'll tell you what I use on it and for what I use it for I love it yeah like I absolutely love it and right. and we've talked about that on this podcast before so I'm not going to get into that any further but. You know, for me, it was like wanting to do something, you know, they sent us these and I wanted to make good on that too. You know, like, Hey, you gave us pixel watches to, to evaluate. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I wanted to create, we've done a lot of short content and we've done a lot yeah. of website content, but we wanted to make that video and just kind of be able yeah. to say, look, here's what I think about it. It's just a thing. Like it, there, this is a thing and this is what this thing does for me. And it does a bunch of stuff like to the point where I don't leave the house without it. Like yeah. it's not. It's not a, no, because well, I, I would leave my Fitbit off every once in a while. I'm like, oh, well, whatever. I don't get to count my steps today. <laughs> right. you know, I'll check right. the time on yeah. my phone and I don't care. <laughs> you know, the Pixel Watch, I'll drive back home and go get it. Like I, yeah. because I just, I use it all the time in lieu of picking my phone up a lot. And so I love it. Uh, I think it's a great smartwatch. Um, you know, people in the comments, well, the Apple Watch can do, it. okay, great. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't have that frame of reference. And the Galaxy Watch, okay, cool. That's, that's fine too. I'm not trying to compare it to anything. I'm not trying to say it's the best smartwatch ever made. I'm just yeah. saying, no. I will. I mean, I'll be used yeah. it for. I love it. Obviously, Apple. If you're in the Apple ecosystem, of course you want. If I lived in the Apple ecosystem, if I had an iPhone, I would get the Apple Watch. No one here has ever denied that it's a great piece of hardware because it yeah. is. Yeah. The Galaxy Watch. I've had it for. When do we get those? Last year. It's when it was they like spring. Uh, yeah, it was spring of last oh, okay. year. Yeah, so I remember tr- going and getting it, and it was pouring down rain. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> it is it right like, now. I think it was like March or yeah. April yeah. or something like that. And I Andrew like was it. working yeah. with us. I like so the was, Galaxy yeah, Watch April. Four, and I mean, apart from the whole T-Mobile voicemail issue, it's not a bad watch. This watch is so much better. I don't care yeah. what any, any you all can say whatever you want. They can say whatever the reviewers say whatever they want. This watch is better. I wish I I and I know it's first first gen. <clears throat> Right, uh, and and they just needed to to create a, um, in, a, a refined product and get it out there. But it would have been really nice to have two sizes. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah, have gone for a bigger size. Yeah, because I think happy. like there's a lot of people that might not pick up this watch. Uh, it's you know, too small. On the it's wrist, just no. too small on the wrist. Is yeah. it the same as the smaller Galaxy? Yeah. Uh, yes, 40. forty. Yeah, which yeah. is maybe it's because I have the ring key thing on here. This watch yeah. feels larger than, but yeah. the Galaxy Watch is perfectly flat and perpendicular, which right. makes it feel right, a little right, more right. dainty. Hmm. This, yeah. I guess, because of the whatever they call this water waterfall or whatever this is called, the, <laughs> the pebble, the pebble, the pebble, the pebble shape gives it a little more depth, a little yeah. more, a little more chunk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, on my wrist, it's quite perfect yeah. i love it um yeah, but i, mean, I think it doesn't some... bother me like i look at it on my wrist i don't feel like yeah. it looks small or no. weird i don't yeah. know i mean but i would go for a bigger size just for a bigger screen exactly <laughs> just right. a little bit more real estate yeah. to work yeah. with yeah i don't care yeah I just yeah because that was the one the one drawback of the ga- the smaller galaxy that i got is that you can't install whatsapp on wear os but you can sideload it but in order to side it, you sideload it and then you have to go through the whole setup process to pair it with right. your device that has WhatsApp on it. On the 40 millimeter, the screen is too small for the OK button oh, to show up. No. So you can't complete the process. <laughs> the larger with 44, yeah, 44. the 44, you can. Yeah, I was okay. like, what? Because that's all my wife wanted. She wanted WhatsApp installed on the watch. And you can't do it. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah, they need to fix that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the way that WhatsApp pairs and stuff now, you can. Like, yeah. I wrote a whole article about, mm-hmm. you know, installing. I'm using the WhatsApp Android app now on my Chromebooks. Right. And, you know, it that you can do four devices. Like, you have your main phone that's your main, like, account holding device or whatever. But, you know, once you once you pair it up, that I can use that Chromebook with WhatsApp and my phone could be sitting at home. Like, I don't... I don't have to have them close or in proximity anymore. Yeah. So, so cool. there's there's no need for any of that stuff. So they, they could make a watch. They app. should. They, yeah. they need to make a watch yeah. app. Yeah. Hopefully they will soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. We're going to take a quick break for an ad. We're going to come back, talk about maybe a couple more items on our gear of the year list. Uh, Robbie wrote a really interesting kind of editorial piece about uh, an affordable pixel book. Uh, and then we got one other thing we're going to chat about. Some Alexa fun. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Super uh, fun. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. All righty. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, let's talk through a couple more on this gear of the year. And so, like, we, we do this. I'm all slow scroll. Yeah. We do so. this. <laughs> we do this. 
this is perfect. <laughs> oh, he's zooming. zooming. He's oh zooming. no, it's zooming. You can't. Yeah, you got to switch figures there. Yeah, to, uh, like, to be perfectly smooth, it's almost impossible. Yeah, just do a scrolling screen record. Sorry for the, people, for the people listening. I'm trying to scroll my phone with both <laughs> hands. <laughs> Like walking, Which is why you should be watching. <laughs> yeah, you got to watch. This is hilarious. You got to watch on YouTube. It's not. It's not good. Uh, so we do this gear of the year list, um, and I normally try to get it out a little sooner than we did. But guess what? We got it out when we did. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if you're looking for a, a kind of last minute gift, you can use it as kind of a gift guide. But more than that, this is stuff that we've used throughout the year. Um, so if you're just looking for cool tech, uh, if you want something for yourself or if it is for a gift, um, this is stuff that we've actually used. Um, and shout out to, shout out to, uh, shout out to Roberto over here for getting this list, uh, designed up nicely on the website. We've normally done... <laughs> As I as I give him props, I there's say, something I'm weird. not gonna say anything. Uh -oh. That's weird. <laughs> Refresh it. It might be doing what it was doing yesterday. Yeah, there is like a, the, right. oh, there. Isoak was having some CSS issues yeah. this morning on the homepage, so I think we yeah. need to dump our cache. I think yeah. that yesterday Sorry. that was the issue. But too. we no, no we normally stuff, we so. normally have this uh, living over on uh, Chrome Shop, which is where um, we normally compile um, links for for items. This is all living on the, the site, and then you can click over and then do your shopping from there. And it just looks great. It's a cool uh, cool web design. So so kudos, Roberto, uh, as he is uh, so, yeah, just making sure everything figuring, was like Oh, working. it's putting an ad. That's yeah, what's happening. That's the problem. So I'm going to have to address that. <laughs> nice. Huh. It doesn't know what to no, Our ad nice. platform is kind of freaking out and trying to put It's like, ads uh, I don't know spots. where to put ads on this. This is weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, uh, just obviously, turn them off on, turn page, off on that. Yeah. 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 Obviously, Pixel 7, Pixel 7 Pro, Pixel Watch. Yeah. The I Pixel, mean, like the <laughs> Google family of hardware, you yeah. know, like, it, yeah. it's just, they've been so happy. This with year them. has just been, it's been great. Yeah. And, and it's funny, like, some of the stuff is launched with not the best uh, capabilities and it's been all fixed. Like, yeah. Not the Pixel 7. I've, I've been super happy with the Pro. Mm hmm basically from day one i haven't really had any, any issues that yeah. i can think of with it um so the the phones are you know all good there but uh you know the the pixel watch um there were a couple little weird things that they fixed early on with some software updates yeah. um, they've done a feature drop already too yeah. and they're you know um, the, the stuff that's lacking on the pixel watch it's all stuff that they can add if they want to yeah right so. The uh, Pixel Buds Pro, though, are the only ones that launched. And I was just like, I don't think I'm going to adopt those. Um, and now I'm waiting for them to go on sale again, so I yep. buy some. Um, they they added the EQ stuff in. They fixed the gaming latency. Mm -hmm. And honestly, after kind of moving through a bunch of headphones like I can't tend to do a lot of times, you know, like the transparency and noise canceling on those are just so, so good. good. It's just good. And the sound quality of the earbuds are so good. They have wireless charging, you know, like it's just, it's nice to use uh, stuff in the ecosystem, you know, and it's, it's why Apple keeps people around, yeah. you know, yeah. when their stuff just Great works together case. without really thinking about it too much. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice. Yeah. I don't think, I think I've yet to actually try them for longer than two minutes. They're, because they're good. I wish the ear tips were a little better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like, I want to try them, but at the same time, I'm really happy with the ones I have right now. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's going to make me spend another $200. I don't <laughs> right. need to. Yeah. You got your $100 credit. That's true. Yeah. There you go. That's true. Good for 100 bucks. Uh, Jojo threw, so, so we basically like, we compiled uh, some stuff from, from the team here. So uh, Jojo had her LG monitor on there, uh, the 34 inch. It's not yeah. the curved one. No, uh, but it's very similar to the one. But I it's have. similar to the one you have, yeah. Which and it's does that one? Does that one have the uh, USB C sell stuff? That too. Can you buy that? Yeah, can uh, buy Heather that? has it on her desk over yeah. there. <laughs> does is that the newer one that has the the extra USB C stuff on the back that you wanted on yours? I, don't, yeah. I think it is. Maybe I'm not yeah. totally sure. I, they have multiple of them. Yeah, um, but you know, it's a quad HD, 34 inch, so ultra wide. So you're getting quad HD, 1440 up and down, but you're getting like 3440, I think, yeah. uh, across. So. I did. I did like that a lot. Yeah. But there were times that it didn't work well with uh, Chromebooks um, on a handful of situations. <clears throat> Basically, like it's not quite 4K, but it's also not just uh, Quad HD. So it's, didn't depending didn't know on the Chromebook. How... Yeah, sometimes it, it would freak out with it. Uh, but also, um, 
uh, it didn't have it didn't go above 60 hertz so mm, i really yeah. wanted a 120 hertz monitor yeah so that was like my big reason for just getting a larger quad hd 120 hertz monitor yeah and i've i've since it's been gone I've, i don't really miss it that much yeah like, <laughs> between my chromebook and that big screen like i can i can shuffle stuff around do what and make you it need work. yeah yeah uh as far as chromebooks actually <laughs> this this list is is all you know gear stuff so I think yeah. we put the Duet Three on there, and, and Duet the five. Dragonfly and Dragon the Duet Five. Five. Yeah, yeah. Was a dra- oh yeah, okay. yeah, Dragonfly. Um, yeah, I mean, no, very notable Chromebooks. Yeah. from this year, right? Uh, we did put on the. I think Gabe, this is one of your editions, the Chromecast uh, with Google TV HD aver- uh, edition, yeah. version HD d- edition uh, version. H- yeah, what is the HD number, version? Serial number four eight. I don't know. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> so, what was your reasoning for putting the? I don't HD remember. Version? I forgot. <laughs> no, just because, especially during the holidays, you could it was on sale. For, you could get it for like nineteen bucks at Walmart. Yeah, um, yeah. I it's mean, just it's if you're wa- cheap. Yeah, if you're wanting a good screen streaming streaming device. <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> can we put, the, on, can we like, put ah! the goat in there? Screaming, the screaming goat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Streaming device that's just I don't I don't like using the word cheap because it's not cheap. It's inexpensive. It's yeah, it's affordable. Yeah. Because I mean, I understand 4K content is more and more prevalent now, but most people, your average consumer from my perspective, from the people that I know, aren't going out and going, I've got to have 4K, you know. Right. Yeah, and a lot of stuff you're watching isn't really in 4K. Yeah, most of your yeah, television's so. not 4K. Yeah. A lot of content scaled up 4K. Yeah. So if you're just looking for, uh, and another great use for this is we've bought multiple different devices for this purpose. You can use these with captive portals. So you travel, mm-hmm. you're going somewhere on vacation, you want something Have that the, the kids bag. can watch yep. Disney or Netflix yep. or whatever. It's twenty bucks on sale. How much is it normally? Thirty, I think. Thirty. Yeah. 30, we went and bought one. Uh, of the what was the 4Ks before this one came out, but when we were on vacation uh, yeah. this year, we needed something for the hotel room. So we, we just yeah. went out over to Target and snagged one. And mm-hmm. when we went, we took one to the cabin up in uh, Brown County, and it's just it's perfect because mm-hmm. you don't want to lose stuff like that. But we took the Walmart one to um, mm-hmm. um, Brown County. If you lose it, it's 20 bucks. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. But it's just the only drawback, and this is hopefully something Google's going to push away from with future devices and third party devices, is the storage is limited. But you get yeah. most of your main streaming apps installed on there, and there's some games and stuff that you can play on there. It's $20. You don't need anything else. You don't need to pay that extra 100 or $200 for a smart TV that has Roku built in or Fire built in or whatever. Yeah. Right. It's right there. It's twenty bucks. It's great. Yeah. It's it controls your TV. It does all that stuff. So yeah. Was the the Funko thing? Was it the four K or the HD version? The fun, now that was the best deal of the year. That, that was, was the four K with such a, a good deal. yeah with a uh, uh, Stranger, Stranger Things, things yeah. uh, Funko Pop figurine. I don't like want to call them doll. It's a figurine, collector's mm-hmm. figure, yeah. whatever, collectible figurine. There's well, like it a was whole... like it was twenty nine dollars. That's crazy. crazy. It was cheaper than what the Chromecast four K was on sale for at. Google, right. which was forty bucks, and you or, get a yeah. toy, and you get, and you a, get toy. a toy to go with it. Collect like a Happy Meal. The, yeah. There, there's like a whole, there's like a whole thing with those uh, Funko Pops where people like buy and sell them, and there oh, are my some, niece is, there are some that are worth like, oh yeah, my, decent my niece has wild. a lot. She's a huge. It's really weird. She's, she thinks she's younger than you. Huge Kiss fan. She has followed <laughs> Kiss <laughs> that on <is> tour <laughs> since she was in high school. She, that is kind of random. She's I got like pictures that. with Gene Simmons. She's, I mean, okay. great. She has. She's a nurse now. She has a uh, Kiss uh, custom Crocs that she wears to work. Like she's wow hardcore. But she has a Kiss huge Crocs. collection of Kiss Funko, Funko. Pops. Yes, that's okay. interesting. Uh, Robbie, one of your random additions uh, that somebody looking through this might be like, why is that on there? Uh, there is the Epson uh, projector. Oh, I was going yeah. to say the Garmin, so. but yeah. yeah. Yeah, upgraded the projector for the Golf <clears throat> Sim. It's uh, a, a, an affordable 4K projector that's very bright. Uh, had a great image on it. I uh, have loved being able to see, like, for us, you know, the golf courses, like seeing them in that kind of detail, the vivid detail has been really cool. Uh, but, you know, for someone doing home theater type stuff or whatever you know it's not short throw it's not laser it's not any of that stuff but it's their three led bulb whatever tech and epson makes great projectors and it's just man it's bright yeah yeah it's super I, I imagine what that new e6 is gonna look like on that Ooh. Uh, 
<laughs> can't wait. wait. I cannot wait to try that out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the uh, you know uh, the projector looks good, and I just the I think the bulb was starting to go on the projector before. I was starting to get a flicker um, pretty regularly, and so it's like, well, hey, do I spend 150 bucks to re- replace a, a bulb on a 500 hundred dollar projector, right? Or just take that money and put it towards it. something better? Yeah. yeah. Um, because I think I might take the other projector home. I'm thinking about doing a, a little basement setup. I'd only be able to chip downstairs. I yeah. just have eight foot ceilings down there. But, but the uh, the boy could swing down yeah. there probably, well, my right? My son could swing. I've got a still got a sporty in it, and it's got the little screen. Yeah. It's a little six by six screen. Yeah. So I yeah. think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna move but, all that down there eventually. Yeah. But but obviously we're using it for for the the simulator setup. But uh, if somebody wanted a projector for uh, a home theater setup oh, yeah. or something, I think this is a, a a great option. What was the price on it? Uh, it was right at a thousand. Yeah, I think or like nine hundred something. Right, and um, you're getting four K. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> and it's yeah most four K projectors get you up into like two thousand. Android TV and too. Don't forget that. Yeah, oh yeah, an Android you TV. Can cast so it so, so you, and you all have watched some content on it, right? Mm-hmm. So like mm-hmm. obviously for the simulator it looks great, but. You know, watching Netflix or yeah, YouTube, YouTube cast, or whatever. I cast, we were watching like a good, good thing. I was like, oh, watch this real quick. Hit cast and it flipped inputs. And uh, we watched was... that trailer for that Will or was it uh, that Eddie Murphy movie? Oh, yeah. That was like, <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, you know, the, the speakers on it are pretty good too. Yeah. Like it's, it's got decent sound to it too. So like that has been a different, like even hearing the sounds of the game that we play, the, yeah. the simulator is like, oh. Because at first it was like, man, that that sounds really weird. But then it's like, oh, it's because it's decidedly better than <laughs> right. what we've so been. We can actually hear what. Like <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, it, it's been a great upgrade. Uh, yeah. I've been super happy with it. <clears throat> yeah. Rigged up a new little uh, mount for it. Yeah, it's, it's, hey, it's been interesting, but you know, you, hanging a projector from a drop ceiling is not an old easiest. building with a drop ceiling that's not really put in. That's hanging yeah, you by never random know when something's nor- going to just normally. Fall. What you could do is like they make ones that ha- connect with the wires that hang the drop ceiling. You just go up above the drop ceiling, and connect it to the roof and to the grid and all that kind of stuff, and it would be super secure and really cool. But not the case here. Not something we can do. The only thing I was looking at doing too was maybe replacing the the drop ceiling tile with like a little three quarter inch well not probably not three quarter inch a quarter inch uh like luon or uh press board or something like that yeah. painting it white and then mounting, mounting like yeah. putting a mount on it but it where it needs to go is right where a light is yeah so, so it's it, it would be we'd have to do some yeah. rearranging wouldn't yeah. be fun and i'm like so what i what yeah. i got with my little uh if you rack uh, and chains yeah and hooks if works you, just fine. if you uh by the time this is out the unboxing sh- will be out. So yeah, if you watch our unboxing of the HP uh, uh, X360 13B, you'll see the uh, projector hanging out uh, in the uh, back of the uh, shop. Literally hanging. <laughs> literally You're hanging. Shooting this one? So yeah. yeah okay. So uh, yeah, there's a refrigerator or something AC unit right on the other side of this wall. And when it kicks on, it is quite noticeable. Of course, it was mic. perfectly quiet last yesterday. When yeah. Film, but. Yeah. But I like this shot anyway. I think it looks cool. It's dynamic. Yeah. It's got a lot a lot of depth. Uh, anywho, uh, great stuff on this list. The one I'll mention um, is the MX Master and the MX, yeah, uh, what's I mean, it called? The anywhere? MX anywhere. Anywhere. Free. Yeah. I love those. The mouse. So, yeah, so good. For, for if you're, if you're Chrome OS only, uh, the Anywhere is a great option. Um, if you uh, work on multiple systems, like if for, for me working on uh, Mac OS and, and uh, Chrome OS, the MX Master uh, for video editing gives you all these. And I've gotten, I ended up, we had them, we had some, I think they sent it to us, right? Did they send yeah. us that? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, did I go buy that? I don't think I did. Uh, we had it around the office. I tried it one time, didn't love it. And then Marquez uh, had a little tweet or something that was like, I'm so much faster editing now that I have this right. MX Master 3 figured out. And so I went and figured it out, set up a few you know, uh, like the little thumb button to do this, the little mm-hmm. top button. To do. Once got I got like it all set up, scroller too. Oh it? yeah, like and I can't pan scroll. I, and I can't, I can't imagine editing without it now. So if you're a video editor um, and you're working on uh, Windows well, or graphic editor too, I would assume probably. Oh, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. CAD mm-hmm. stuff like yep. that. Would yeah. Uh, obviously, those features uh, as of right now aren't available on Chrome OS because they're all tied. Well, at least it has been. Well, uh, yeah, what's their little app called? It's called Log- Logi Options. And so in their app, you can go in and, and that's where you program these buttons Let's based on specific applications. Version, so right? That's what I'm looking to see. They've got, they've got the Logitech 
That would be uh, that would be incredible. This? Yeah, customize your gear. <gasps> so we need to see if this installs on a Chromebook. If not, I mean, you could just probably because what oh, it is, is the, these things have uh, a little firmware. bit of yeah. silicon in them, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. enough that you can rewrite some of the stuff in the firmware. So yeah, we might mess with that. We that need would to try make that. A great video. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah and like at the house, I'd love that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll try that out. That would be dope because like even just like little stuff like in Chrome, like my back, you know, is one of the buttons, you know, so I can just easily go back, you know, and do little stuff like that. Um, So, so yeah, uh, it's a great, I I like all the Logitech stuff. Um, Yeah, uh, me too. I have that little pebble that I keep and it's so tiny. It just fits in the top part of my bag. Yeah. It's just with me all the time. So when I need to set up shop and and work, I just, I like trackpads fine and I can work from a trackpad. Uh, but there's just something way more natural about yeah, having a mouse absolutely. over here yeah. and it way easily more accurate too. Yeah. Um, like I said, in, in, in situations where I can't, you know, I can, I can function just fine from trackpad, but I've gotten to the point where I'm so used to having my trackpad here, my Chromebook in front of me that I've learned gesture, like right. I just have yeah, it yeah, with yeah. my left hand. Yeah. So I'll do my multitasking gestures, desks, all that stuff with my left hand, scroll the page a lot of times with my left hand. Um, and so kind of using both, um, uh, constantly. And so, yeah. uh, yeah, I like having a mouse yeah. uh, on me at all times. Um, so yeah, lots of great stuff on this list. Again, like I said, if, if you are looking for a last minute gift idea for somebody techie on your list, uh, there's probably some of these that would arrive in time. Uh, uh sure. And, yeah. Or you uh, can, some of them, a lot of them probably be a Best Buy. Many yeah, of them would pick be up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, bit. that's true. Quite that's a, a great point. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, but if not, if you just are looking for some cool tech, this is stuff that we actually use. Yeah, so it's all 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 real deal. All yeah. stuff we own, use, probably have bought most of it. Mm, yeah, so. yeah. Okay, we're gonna take one more quick break, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, welcome back, everyone. Uh, so, <laughs> so, um, so Robbie wrote an interesting piece this morning. Uh, I wrote it last night, actually. Oh, you did? I wrote it last you night. published it this morning. I, I, I wrote it, and I was tired. I, we did a lot of stuff yesterday. We did. I was like, I'll finish this up after we film. And then we filmed, and we did some shorts, and I was like... I, I'm tired. Yep. Yeah, had a partner yeah. meeting. Yeah. It, it was, was just like, I was like yeah, that's enough for today. Yesterday was a lot. <clears throat> so I held it, and... I was glad because I was mm-hmm. able to add a few uh, uh, little pieces to it today that yeah. I wouldn't have probably. Uh, those longer form ones sometimes, by the time you get done with them, yeah, editing feels just as much of a as a job of writing. Oh, yeah, it. so for it's sure. Like, okay. So it was nice this morning to be able to look at it with fresh eyes. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But my opinion remains the exact same. Um, yeah. and, and the idea behind the piece was, you know, Google rolls out a, um, I don't want to say Pixel book, because to me the Chromebook Pixel uh, from which you know the entire Pixel family derived its name. Um, those those belong in this too, and then the Pixel Slate as well. Like if we're gonna, I like right. just calling it all Pixel Book because I feel like that's the best brand name they've got. Um, but Google doesn't roll out Pixel Book stuff until they see something that needs to be addressed, mm-hmm. basically in the ecosystem. And we've made this, you know, they've never said that outright, but in some conversations we've had with yeah. some people. Clearly, that is exactly yeah. what. Yeah, it's for. they've just sort of, you know, clarified that that's always been the heart of it. it's kind of right. the nexus idea of like this is this it's always been used to push the ecosystem right. forward. Right. We're not trying to compete. Yeah, right, right. right. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, in the article, I kind of laid out like if you don't know, if you're listening to this and don't know what the the Surface Laptop SE is, we did a a video on it, not really highlighting it as a device, but uh, turning it into a Chromebook. <coughs> we yeah. used, uh, when it debuted, you know, everybody, not everybody, but there were quite a few outlets that dubbed it a Chromebook killer, you know, and it was, it's aimed at the, the classroom. You could still get it, but you could only ever buy it through those types of channels. It wasn't, it didn't show up at Best Buys. It, it wasn't that type of device. So we pulled some strings, got one in, uh, and it's the only Surface device certified for uh, Chrome OS Flex green check and all so we wanted to say okay we're going to take this device that's the chromebook killer turn it into a chromebook and do so with no testing like we didn't want to put the usb in and play with it and make sure everything works okay just Just pull it it. off yeah just rip the band-aid off and do it because it's a green check google said it should work and they were right it worked um worked uh pretty well once i figured out (laughs) unlock the the bootloader or whatever uh that and it was a very simple process just something i needed to uncheck um however we got all that done, made the video. It was really fun. It was really cool. And it's been sitting around. I boot it up every once in a while and mess around with it because it's kind of a charming little device. Mm-hmm. Um, to think of a, a, a laptop that 
I want to say it, it, you can buy it. The schools can buy it and stuff for less, quite a bit less than 300 bucks. Oh yeah. Um, it's super sluggish with windows on it. Um, it's a, in 4020, I think. It's like 4120. 4120. So it's, so it's, it's not it's not Jasper Lake. It's what Gemini, Gemini Lake R. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a souped up Gemini Lake. So it's a couple of generations old, small core, four gigs of RAM. Like Windows really just sits all over it and yeah. it just can't move. Um, put Chrome OS on it. I'm not going to say it's like the super speedy thing, you know, but I could sit down and work on it, yeah. no problem. Yeah. Um, it hooks up to my external display fine. It runs Quad HD at 60 hertz, you know. Um, I, so I want to do a video kind of once we get through some of these other things we're doing of, Hey, I worked from this Chromebook flex, uh, surface laptop to, to show you like a $300 piece of machinery can run Chrome OS well mm-hmm. enough for me to work from on a regular basis. Um, so all that said, after doing that and messing with this little surface enough times and like, it just looks good on the table. It's just yeah. got a good, I mean, Microsoft doesn't make it's, ugly stuff. Yeah. They just make really pretty uh, hard. Very nice aesthetic. It does. Yeah. And so I'll just pick it up and I'll mess with it for a minute. And like, I just, I really like this little thing. Uh, the keyboard isn't like the best keyboard I've ever used, but it's really good. Um, the trackpad's plastic, but it's really good plastic. The entire chassis is plastic, but it's firm. It doesn't feel creaky and bendy like something else I just unboxed yesterday uh, that I felt like I could twist like a pretzel. Um, <laughs> Break you know, it in like, half. <laughs> it, it's, and the screen isn't the brightest screen I've ever seen, but it's you know nice IPS, uh, nice contrasty colors, good viewing angles, like been bright enough probably it's probably 250 net or something mm-hmm. like that um i don't know it's just this really thoughtfully designed cheap laptop right it's which, cheap which is cool because that's so much not what we see in that space for chromebooks in that space in chromebooks well, and, and it's, for windows too i mean yeah, for the most part yeah but yeah yeah you're right windows because a lot of the edu devices they're the same, the same thing, thing but you get a tn panel it might be 220 nits yeah off angle looks they're, terrible the the keyboards are gross are gross yeah so it's it's a very interesting to and think I, about I understand too, like the the low end Chromebooks. Um, a lot of times, especially a get geared towards education first. So we don't even see a lot of them in the consumer market until they don't sell them at the school, and then they show start showing up at Best Buy. Right. Um, and so they spend a lot of money on <laughs> testing Excuse and um, mil spec stuff and making sure they can drop them. Like we did a whole thing about destroying one of these Chromebooks. Like that Chromebook is not fun to use. It's not encouraging to use it's not something i look over and go i'm gonna pick that one up today how many times i've picked up the surface laptop se it literally outdoes the number of times i've picked up any cheap chromebook just out of wanting to pick it up and just kind of yeah. mess with it because it's a cool looking thing um and so you know like thinking about it from that perspective i'm like okay a we don't have enough cheap chromebooks i'm gonna use the word cheap because it just it fits here we don't have enough cheap Chromebooks in the consumer market for one. Like when you go to Best Buy and you want to buy something, you're going to have to find something old and on sale yep. or something newer. That's not, you know, like I think of the, uh, the duet three mm-hmm. uh, as a perfect example. It's one of those ones. It's like, this is a great Chromebook. It looks great. It, it performs pretty well. Like we love the duet three, but until it's on sale, it doesn't go under $300, right? It's almost $400 actually. Exactly. Um, and so you got to wait until it's on sale. So, I'm talking about a device that is $300 out of the gate. Like this is how much this thing costs. Um, and when you think about devices like that, I, can you think of any? Nope. Uh, that, that you no, because you get that's, the, that's modern, right? Because the the only old. thing that falls in that vein are those one those those outliers like the big 17 inch Chromebooks. They'll put decent internals in those and right. good screens because they have to because they're larger. And you get to the three hundred, four hundred dollar price range, and they're really good value for what you're getting. No one's taken a device and scaled it down to something smaller and done that same thing. It's like the internals go down a little bit, the screen goes down a lot, the size goes down, right? But the price goes up. It's super you know, and weird. then you look at other devices that are kind of borderline, like the the uh, Pentium Flex Five I that Best right. Buy sells. It's not a bad device, and that Pentium's a great processor, but it's only like eighty dollars cheaper than the core i3 right mm-hmm. they're just in a really weird space and i'm yeah. i don't i'm like robbie i don't understand why people aren't making these devices that are 250 300 right. that are good not and, great just good you know right. and thoughtfully designed yeah right i, I think that's the, the main part here is that it's like oh it's going to be cheap so we'll just it's throw just, the pieces together that we got it's laying like around some crummy keyboard some crappy you know what, the galaxy yeah. 
two three sixty could that, have been that. So I put that one in the duet three in the article and said these are the only two that come to mind that are I feel like more thought than just nothing was like yeah. uh, I don't know that laptop when was that from two twenty fourteen I sure put a new chip in it and send it out the door yep. that's what it feels like most of the time the the Galaxy Chromebook two three sixty it's a weird one uh it, it's close to being a little thoughtful uh but then they it's like they got thoughtful about the wrong stuff yeah like let's put a quad hd beautiful three by two panel and into a this low end absolute turd, device. yeah you know of a device and and not put enough internals to push that kind of screen you don't need that kind of screen on a 12 inch device it's silly you know put a 1080p i mean you can almost get away with a 1366 yeah. it's like 1366 by nine but they could yeah, whatever they could have done 1080 and well they're not going to use an arm processor unless it was exynos but you think about one of the higher end MediaTek chips in a device like that right. with just a 1080p screen not right. this whatever this weird thing is yeah and they thought about how it looked it mm-hmm. looks like it's right. got the galaxy name on it it had to look somewhat decent but, but it's it, another like i picked one up at the at best buy in louisville uh the other day lid is aluminum with that screen that half of it feels very considered and thoughtful the bottom half of it's bendy and Mm -hmm. cheap plastic i'm just like you're kind of considering parts of the thing i'm asking for google to come in and say here's a here's a pixel book call it the pixel book a so we got pixel and pixel a um you know pixel 7a is coming out pixel 6a is out pixel 6a is all plastic um, it has a lesser screen than the Pixel Six. It's got less, a little bit less internals, mm-hmm. not processor wise, but you know, RAM. Uh, you know, it's it's sixty hertz. You know, the list yeah. goes on and on. But it's still a great, thoughtfully yeah. made device. Yeah. When you pick it up, you don't go, "Oh God, that's man." Yeah. They really threw that together. Easy like, to recommend. You like, could <laughs> almost kind of forget that it's not glass, and right. you know, and but it's still plastic. It's still affordable. Um, that kind of attention to detail would be really cool in the Chromebook space, especially because so many people think Chromebooks are meant to run on cheap hardware. Yep. Like that's, that's the mentality. That's yep. the overriding mentality that, that exists. And so if, if that's the mentality, play into it. So, okay, cool. What, what can we accomplish with 300 bucks? And you can't tell me that if Acer is making money, they wouldn't, they wouldn't discount the, 516 GE to $550 mm-hmm. if, if the they weren't making weren't, money. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, the margin may get tight there, but they're making some money on it. Okay, I'm not asking you to make a ton of money. I'm asking you to sell at volume and make a little bit less on your margins at this price. But if they're making money at 550 on a device that's got that much stuff going the on. The 714's on sale again, too. Same thing. I mean, like, like, mm-hmm. If they're able to do that, you can't tell me, you cannot convince me that a $300 Chromebook like the Surface Laptop isn't possible. Right. It is. It absolutely is possible. And it would change a bunch of things. First, it would give people a, a, a legitimate option if they want to go buy an affordable Chromebook. Like, it's no different than the Pixelbook Go. It's the exact same thing. Was the Pixelbook Go the fastest Chromebook on the market? No. Did it have the best display on the market? No. Did it have best speakers? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Best speakers, best keyboard, class-leading trackpad. Those things, yes. And design. But it was the build quality. Yeah. It was yep. the aesthetic. It was the attention to details, the way that it felt to use it. Mm-hmm. It's the way that it feels to use it. That, that I would even want to pick up uh, an 8th gen Chromebook at this point is silly. And it's still one of those Chromebooks that if it's around, like I uh, kind of tend towards it. I carry it around every it, day. <laughs> it's fantastic. And, and so like it's that mentality I'm asking, like, why not put that mentality towards an affordable Chromebook? Yep. It's probably your most popular segment. And if you got the rest of the, the, the um, ecosystem moving in that direction of going, okay, well, we're not going to spend any more money on these things. We want our margins to be good still, but we'll at least think about how we make these things. We'll, we'll consider the way they look. We'll consider the design elements. We'll consider how it feels to use it. Uh, we'll consider the screen a little bit more and, and maybe this a little bit less or whatever you got to do. Um, if that starts to happen, then those devices get in the hands of students. And those students, instead of thinking, God, I can't wait to not have to use this Chromebook. Yeah. Because I'm sorry, some of these middle school and high school students, these Chromebooks that they're handed, my, my daughter's in middle school, and she's got that HP. It's an Intel version, but it's the HP we threw off the roof. It's not good. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's a bad Chromebook yeah. experience, and she doesn't complain about it too often. But I know, like she uses my Chromebooks too. Like she knows 
there's way better Chromebooks out right. there. A lot of students don't know that. Yeah, yeah, and so that's they what, think Chrome OS Chromebooks equals this, yeah. and I can't wait to not have to use this anymore. Yeah, I couldn't imagine like when the remote learning and stuff all that started. They, you know, they sent out the things to send Chromebooks home with kids if you need one. I'm like, one, we don't need them, and two, no. I mean, yeah, I, we don't want you. My kids aren't used to working <laughs> on that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. And they're definitely not desirable or cool right. devices. They're not. They're not they're not something that makes you want to pick them up mm-hmm. and think of them. And I get it. Like, like don't I, I'm sure somebody could be listening to this and be like, you know, you are t- so out of touch with what's going on. I get it. Like utility and durability, very, very important in schools. And I'm not saying that school Chromebooks are going to become cool items. I'm just saying like Google putting out something like this could have an influence to where they think about it just a little bit yeah. more. Right. Cause bigger picture, like you said, you have these kids who, they get out of school or they get to college and they're you know the first time they pick up a macbook that their buddy has they're like man i can't like you said i cannot wait a laptop so i don't have to do this so i can buy that right give them uh, just a hint of hey look this is a budget-friendly device that's made for schools and it's good right you can do even better if you go buy a little bit more money right a lot of people have no idea that you can buy chromebooks that have you know 4k displays and stowable styluses and fingerprint sensors right most i'd say probably more than 50 percent of consumers have no idea yeah and so that's that's part of it but then the other part is just the consumer market like we were talking about just a minute ago that's so messed up on the low end of the spectrum like there just aren't consumer chromebooks that are cheap that are good nope. you know they're bad or you're waiting for some crazy wild sale to happen that you can't miss for a couple of days i'm not talking about that i'm saying like Build a Chromebook that's meant to to be cheap. I think one of the only companies that's gotten this right is Lenovo. Like they've done a really good job with the Duet Three. Mm-hmm. Like I want to see Lenovo take the Duet Three mentality and make a convertible Chromebook, uh, an 11, 12 inch convertible Chromebook with that mentality. Make it slim. Make it look awesome. Put a good screen in it. Make sure the keyboard's good. All that kind of stuff, and throw a, a mid-range MediaTek chip in it. That'd be awesome, right? Because that's what a- it, like Asus tried. They did a detachable and a convertible of the yeah. same null device, but they missed on some of the build quality and they miss on pricing, which is so yeah. weird. Because yeah. every once in a while they'll come out with a device like the <laughs> original CX, the 15-inch one. You know, yeah. great. Everything's great about that device, and the yep. price is killer. Then they come out with other stuff, and it's like this thing's two hundred dollars more than what it should yeah, retail for. Right. Like and seriously, it's so bizarro. Yeah. And so that all of these reasons are why I think Google could <clears throat> show up with a Pixel and call it Pixelbook A, whatever, and and just shine a light on, hey, here's what's possible with three hundred bucks. Yeah, you can make this and make it look good, feel good. I go back to the HP original HP Chromebook Eleven, that little pill shaped guy that Google clearly worked very closely with HP on. Do that if you want to, like yeah. do a do a collaboration thing, whatever. But get back involved in this in this lower end spectrum and show the consumer market what a an affordable Chromebook can look like. Because if other manufacturers start taking the time to make considered lower lower priced laptops, lower priced Chromebooks, they could sell an absolute boatload of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If it's not just an absolute drudgery to use, and it's it's kind of nice to pick up and use, and it's it's fun, yeah people will go buy that right, like right. and and not feel nobody's thinking twice about well my chromebook can't blah 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 when they pay 300 bucks for it brand new yeah and, and it's a joy to pick up and use um and it can be done mm-hmm. like i don't tell me it can't be done microsoft did it right like the, it, the, the device is sitting in there on a table it's it's been done so that's and it's got a, that's got a windows license and it's got microsoft's brand on it like remove that stuff and you can make a sub 300 hundred dollar laptop that's nice to use that runs really fast with Chrome OS on it and doesn't have to be on sale to be a great deal all the time. Yeah. And and Google could do that with a, a low end pixel book. Yeah. It'd be the first time they've done it, but that's what the pixel book. Yeah. They're used to, to not doing. be a series phones either. Right and now there are, right. and they're big sellers. So yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. would you, would, you uh, are the a series probably their most popular selling device oh, I have they that. have yeah. they I ever said have, that i think so i'm pretty sure i want to say the 6a they said that it was the 5a or the 6a okay. they, yeah uh it's like the best selling yeah best selling. whatever it doesn't matter i we know, know. <laughs> like it, it seems like those are some of their most popular but, i mean it's devices. samsung does it their a series fit phone which is they're on the 53 right now yeah that's it, that's it. destroys 
I think all of their flagships combined, the 50, yeah. that A series yeah. Yeah. is I mean, their number yeah. one. It's but. yeah, getting the price down and keeping the experience good is like that that middle ground that yeah. manufacturers actually point towards. Those yeah, I mean, to, that's that why Toyota Camrys are the best selling car right, in the world exactly. because they're right there in the middle. That's if you right. want to pay out the nose for one, you can, but if you go get one that has a lot of the features you want, it's right in the middle of the road that's price right. wise. Yep. That's right. Yeah. And you make flagships to draw attention to exactly. the brand. Yep. But you you build to the middle, and I felt like Google was trying to. That's what they conveyed with the Pixelbook Go. That was the whole point. Like, look, six fifty. Look how nice this thing is at six hundred fifty bucks. You know, um, and, and <laughs> but let's I cut feel that like, in half. <laughs> I feel like they got the the point across. Like, yeah, think about sure. su- a post Pixel yeah. uh, Pixelbook Go. The devices that we have in the five to seven hundred dollar range are fantastic. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's 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 done well. Um, at you know for enterprise in the top end of the market, the HP Elite. Dragonfly Chromebook doesn't exist without Pixelbook. Yeah, nope, it doesn't. And so it did that too. Like yeah. that, that's the fringe engine of the market. And like a ton of people aren't going to be there. But guess where all the people in the market probably <laughs> lean towards? Yeah, the bottom end. Yeah, and there's just been no focus. They, it just yeah. feels like the Wild West still. Yeah. And so I, I do feel like Pixelbook could come in and rein that in a little yeah. bit and just give an example of like here's what's possible. Yeah. Here's what you could do. Totally. If, if you'll take a second, you could you could pull something off cool here and probably sell a bunch of them. Talk to Lenovo. I guarantee they've <laughs> yeah. sold so many duets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So many of them. But yeah. a convertible form factor is good for some things and not good for other things. Right. Just a good old standard Chromebook is what yeah. needs to come what yeah. needs to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There rant, you go. If anybody over. if anybody in Mountain View is listening, uh, just you can you can call us. We'll, we'll we'll give you I'll give walk, you all look, of our thoughts. Yeah, <laughs> we'll give you all of our thoughts. Okay, uh, we have an event in uh, eight, minutes. eight minutes that we got to catch. Can, <laughs> can you give a hot take on Alexa? Mm. Ooh, <laughs> no, that's that's a conversation right there. <laughs> I will at least just say this so you all can look it up. Right. I'd really like to talk about it. Yeah, um, we can maybe talk about ongo- it. It's like it's not like breaking. That could be news. a fun. That could be a fun spinoff episode. We could. That could be really fun. Like we could talk about it for a little while. Yeah, there's an article out there, probably multiple of them, about Alexa. Mm-hmm. Losing what ten billion dollars or something in the this year is it or something? I don't know. It's I think I think it was just like a Alexa overall was a ten billion dollar loss. Yeah, it's been rough. Uh, that, but even for working even out. for Amazon, that's not a small amount of money. No. Yeah. Um, and so in it, the, the the article details why that is, and it's because you can't mm-hmm. monetize. Turn on the lights. You can't monetize. Pause the music. Yep. <laughs> Drop so, an ad afterwards. <laughs> right. So they're running into some severe issues with that because it's just not <laughs> returning any money. So it's getting less work. But in it uh, outlines the fact that Google's basically said the same thing. Like, we don't know what to do with this. Yep. We can't. And so I feel like the assistant might just be getting dumber over time. Yep. Yeah. It, it makes way more mistakes than it used to. And that's because it's just not getting. And the, this is the why love. there's so much money in software licensing. Go- yep. Google right. doesn't. Google does not license the uh, assistant kit stuff. You just have to get certified by Google. I right. Mean, they're just. Yeah. But there's a whole discussion that can yeah. be had around yeah. this. Uh, uh, look up Ars Technica. Uh, Ron. Yeah, Ron uh, Amadio published it. But just look up Ars Technica. We'll, we'll, we'll link Amazon. It. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I'll just link it out to his article. Yeah. Um, fascinating read to begin with. And then I think just a whole discussion Let's, about smart devices, we've, assistance, where all that's going, because it's not going where it was. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So we've we've talked about this, and maybe this is a great, uh, this is a great subject to try this on. We've talked about doing our news roundup every week. Obviously, this is where we do our, our video uh, portion. Uh, it's our news kind of recap from the week. But if we have little spinoff things that are like single subject kind of discussion things, and maybe even like... Yeah, we could even like incorporate more things into that and maybe just do audio right. only for those. Yeah. So stay tuned. I don't know. That could be a fun one. That could be yeah. a fun one next if, week, like next Tuesday or something. We could just sit down and do it. Yeah. Just sit on the couches. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk about it at some we, point <laughs> on here. Yeah. Just if if you're if you're if you're a Chromecast listener, just stay tuned. You'll be the first to know. All right. We've got an event. We gotta go watch. We appreciate you all tuning in listening and watching if you are watching over on youtube make sure to give us a thumbs up go down there click subscribe and make sure to click the notification bell icon as well so that you get an alert when we put out future episodes Alrighty, that's it for this week we'll see y'all next time bye bye